What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. So we are headed to our dentist appointment. I'm late because I didn't want to go in the first place because you guys know every time I go to the dentist, they always want money. They always want money. Going to the dentist is so expensive, bro, for no reason. But we're in the daily driver, so we're gonna head over there. Looks like it's gonna rain. Thought we were done with rain, but I guess not. LOL, our appointment is at 3.30. We're not gonna get there until 3.40. At least we got gas in this car though, because you guys know I never really have gas in any of my cars for whatever reason. It's funny, because one of you guys actually called me out on that. But this time, we got gas, baby. Now, I wanna give a sincere apology for not having out content in the past week. I haven't posted a video in a week, and I was going crazy. Like, that's not, what car sounds like that? No way. Kinda crazy, but yeah, I was going insane. I didn't have content out for like a whole week on YouTube. Um, and the reason being is because there, was a, there really wasn't anything crazy going on. Like I didn't have nothing going on. Uh, and the thing is like, I don't wanna like just throw a video out there and be like me clipping my toenails for you guys, right? Like I want it to be a little interesting. Um, but there's a topic that I wanna cover and that is the fact that one of my cars are leaving California. Wow, that's uh, that was in proper English. One of my cars is leaving California. There we go. Listen to that car. This fool think he is an F1 driver, dog. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but <laughs> that's hilarious. That's something that you don't expect to hear out of a Chrysler 300. Here in traffic, we have an IS 300 with extreme camber in the rear. Stock wheels, it looks like, in the front. You guys, what do you, what do you guys think that is? You think it's a swing bucket? You think it's a takeover car? I think that was a rear wheel drive, if I'm not mistaken, right? You know what's crazy? I actually thought about in a future sometime swapping a 2JZ into this car. I think that that would be extremely sick, but it would probably cost a lot of money uh, because I would probably have to get like a custom drive shaft because obviously this car is front wheel drive. I would want to convert it to rear wheel drive and uh, yeah, I just know it would be a lot of money, but it would be really sick because nobody would expect the 2JZ inside of a Lexus ES300. Also, we would have to swap it over to a manual. I think it would be a pretty cool project. I actually don't plan on getting rid of this car. I think it's a really nice car. I just love the fact that like I can get inside this car and it turns on every single time. It's reliable, I can count on it, and uh, I, I really don't plan on getting rid of it because it's like my low-key car, right? Like I, after I'm done, uh, driving like one of my modified cars I can hop in here be low-key. It's nice comfortable. It's automatic So I, I really don't plan on selling this car, but who knows what the future might hold. I'm already late So let's go ahead and go in here. I'm low-key nervous because we pulled up and the building looks like this dog Okay, wish me luck And we just got out of the dentist dog. I've been there for the uh, since since 3.30. Well, I got there like at 3.40. It's 5.32 now. Dog, I've been there for a minute. But, uh... <laughs> yeah, man, that's crazy. I, uh... Ow. But enough of that. We're gonna head home, and I'm gonna let you guys in on a little inside of, uh, what's pretty much been going on with the ST. It is the next day. When I got home yesterday, it was a little dark, so I figured I'd pick this video back up the next day, which is today. I'm trying to get this key out because we're gonna go out to the ST, we're gonna check on it. Uh, as you guys know, we cleaned it like last month or so. There were signs that there was a rat inside the car, so we're just gonna check on it, make sure everything is good. I cleaned that car extremely well. There is nothing, absolutely nothing on the floors. The floors are good, carpet's good, seats are good, center console's good, the dash is good, everything is good, the car is clean. Outside might be a little questionable because it's been raining on and off since we cleaned it. Um, but right now we're getting this key out because the battery is dead. You guys know that the car has been sitting since last, September. That is a very long time now that I'm thinking about it. That's three, that's five months. Five months that the car's been sitting. Battery's dead, we need another battery. So we're gonna take this key out of the key so that we can open the door. Hey yo, the cover's been uh, doing okay though. The car's not like soaking, soaking wet. I hate doing this. It's always tough. Get the key out of there. All right, let's see. We got a little, little something on the 
the driver's side from me getting in and out of it. Car looks to be good. I see no signs. No signs anywhere. Looks good. Something that's weird though that I just saw. <laughs> the overheating gauge is like all the way up. And I don't know why. Maybe because the battery's dead, so it kind of like tripped out. I don't have the key on me, and even if I did, again, the battery's dead, so I, I would have to like go get a car, hook the jumper cables up to it, to try to figure out like if that is in fact just like a little glitch in the battery system or the charging system. Now, the main point that I want to touch on is the fact that this car, I say, and I said it in the beginning of the video, this car might be leaving California. Basically, what I meant by that is I. I am going to register one of my vehicles out of state. Now, it's a no-brainer. I understand that some people jumped on that bandwagon a long time ago. Me, I just kind of really didn't care about it, right? I was something that I was just willing to deal with. Um, now, if I'm being honest, if I were to register one of my cars out of state, it would definitely be the ST. The reason why, uh, the Z, the license plate. <laughs> That's honestly like one of the main things is the license plate. I don't want to lose that license plate. I actually really enjoy it and I see that other people do too, but it's not even so much of other people. It's just like, I like it, I enjoy it, and I just, I want it on the car, right? So, because if you're being honest, the Z would technically be the car that I would want to register out of state, right? Because it's Hot Boy, Top Mount Single Turbo Kit, right? That that would be the car that's the most sketch out in California. But uh, truth be told, like I said, it's just a license plate I really don't want to lose. If it wasn't for the license plate, I wouldn't care. Now, this car obviously doesn't have a customized license plate. Um, and ironically, this is the, out of the two, this is a car that is the most low key when it comes to like setup, right? The big, it is big turbo, right? Pushing over 400 horsepower, but the turbo is hidden. So when you open the hood or you pop the hood on this car, all you see is the intake, but the intake has a carb legal sticker on it. So they see the intake and they're like, okay, it's good. But like, at most, they get me for exhaust. I've never, uh, knock on wood, I don't have wood on here, but this car, I've never got a state ref in this car. I've never, this car has really never given me issues. Um, so this would be the car that I would have registered out of state. Um, and the reason being is the only reason why I'm considering it, I'm not even worried about state wrath. The reason why I'm considering it is because as you guys know, you have eight years from manufacture date until whatever year it is, right? Until you have to worry about smog. So for example, the ST is a 2014, the Z is a 2013. So it's been over eight years for both cars. So because of the fact that it's been over eight years, I now have to worry about smog and registration for both cars. Now, given that both cars are modified, smog becomes an issue, right? I'm just leaving it at that, just being honest. So, to prevent having to worry about putting at least one car back to stock each year, because that's gonna take a lot of time, I'd rather just register one car out of state and not having to worry about smog and not having to worry about like registration. That would, That's literally gonna save me so much time and so much money in the end because truth be told like i said as you guys know there's nothing wrong with this car like the st there's nothing wrong with it it drives perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it the only reason why i'm not driving it right now is because it's not registered my thing is when i get this car back on the road i'm probably going to drive this car more than the z um i'm probably going to give the z a little break and I'm, i might switch back and forth but just because it's been so long since i've driven this car and i really do miss it i really do miss it the one thing i miss the most and it's funny because a lot of people hate on it the one thing I miss the most about this car is the airbag system, the air ride. The fact that I can literally just in one button lift the car up if I see something in the road or if I'm in a parking lot that's very steep, well, a touch of a button, just lift it up, do what I gotta do, and then lower it back down, bro. It's the most convenient system ever. I don't, I just, I, I truly don't understand why people hate on airbags, air ride. It's just so convenient, right? But that is the one thing I miss the most. But other than that, I, I really do miss this car, right? This car has held me down. I've owned this car since 2016. That is eight years, right? It's eight years ago. Eight years I've owned this car and it has given me no issues, right? It's been big turbo for about 30,000 miles or so and no issues, right? This car has held me down. Now I understand that that, that might be a little little rare because I know there's a lot of people out there that's gone through multiple engines in their STs and it's had issues and stuff. Um, but yeah, man, this car has been so reliable to me and uh, I miss it, you know, a little four door sports car. So, um, I am thinking about again, registering this car out of state and I've had some of you guys reach out to me telling me that you can help me this, this and that. So that's probably what I'm going to do. Um, but that's pretty much just a little update on the ST again. 
I have not neglected this car, even though it kind of seems like I did. It's just I'm trying to figure out what's the best route to go when getting this car back on the road. Uh, but I appreciate you guys for supporting me, for staying with me. And like I said, I apologize. Content has been a little slow. Um, it might be a little slow for a week or two. Still trying to figure some things out. Um, but I promise you when it picks back up, I will give you explanation on everything, updates on everything. And uh, we will go from there. Again, I appreciate you guys for watching this video. And as always, I will catch you in the next one. Peace out. Stay safe and stay tuned. Who knew I would make it this far? They hated, they never believed me. Yeah, I would never drop the ball. I know I make it look easy. Yeah, Mayweather with the defense. I don't care what a critic got to say. I got him picking up the pieces. Gotta me, you really playing with your life. I'm about to come and run it all back. I'm the new era, about to snap back. You ain't fitting for it, cause you all